Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so so much for stopping by. If this is your first time of seeing this channel and seeing my face as well, please do not forget to subscribe. Please join the family and also put on the notification bell so you get notified whenever I have a new video. So in today's video, I'll be doing the emo tag. This tag is not new, but I feel like it will not be complete if I don't film my own yet. So I'll be answering questions. I have some questions here. I'll be looking down just in case you see me looking down. I have some questions here. So I'll be answering the questions. So let's dive into the first video. So the first question says, what is your Igbo name and what is the meaning? My Igbo name is Ezine and it means good mother. Yes, and I'm a good mother as well. So the second question says, can you speak Igbo language? Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Igbo girl like me. I was born and bred in Igbo land. I'm from Uguta and I was born and bred in Uguta. So I can speak Igbo very well. And I'm a Igbo or Fumo or Fuma. Oto Abuni is a Igbo. Nyegiya left and right. I'm a Miyasu or Fumo or Fuma. So, where are you from? I'm from Uguta in Imo State. What is your favorite Igbo food? Hmm. My favorite Igbo food is also my favorite food of all time. Okwa. Okwa. <laughs> I love Okwa so so much and it's my favorite Igbo food. The next question says, the next question is, who is your favorite male Igbo celebrity? My favorite is Fino. Fino is my favorite Igbo celebrity. Like I love the guy so much. The way he raps in Igbo, the way he, he represents Igbo language in music industry. I love him so so much. Like I don't even have to think about that one. He's my favorite. So the next question says, favorite female Igbo celebrity. Favorite female Igbo. Okay, I have two. And the first one is Rita Dominic. She's an actress. I love Rita Dominic so, so much. I feel like she is so classy. Igbo lady that is so, so classy, repping us in the industry. I love Rita Dominic. And the second person is, this, this second person, I feel like almost everyone will say she's their favorite because, I mean, she's everybody's sweetheart. Genevieve Naji. Yes, I love Genevieve so much. I love how she is so, so reserved. With all this going on, in, on, with everything that is happening on social media, Genevieve is keeping herself like you hardly see her on social media flaunting like I love her like to me she's a sweetheart and she will continue being my sweetheart I love her so much next question says what do you love about Igbo people oh I love the fact that Igbo people are so 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 hard working Igbo, Igbo men I raise hand for honor like seriously my Igbo, my Igbo men they are so hard working Igbo man has this mindset that he must make it in life and he continues to he, he holds on to that to keep on working hard until he gets to what he wants to be in life. So I feel like they are so determined and they are so hard working. When, and if you're married to an Igbo man, you know how Igbo men take care of their wives? Oh my god, like I can't describe this one. Igbo men take care of their families as well. I love that about Igbo men. And I also love our culture. Igbo culture. Igbo people, Igbo people are also so 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 friendly. I love it. We are so friendly. And it's whenever someone from another tribe or another state comes to serve in our state, we treat them so so well. We are so welcoming and we are so friendly as well. So these are the things I love about Igbo tribe. There are so many things, but these are the ones that I can remember the now. The next question says, what do you not like about Igbo people? What I don't like about Igbo people? Okay. I don't like how some of our parents force their children to marry from a certain state or from a certain tribe like they for, they try to force their children to marry Igbo person do you understand like they don't allow their children to make their choice to make their choice marry from any tribe they want most Igbo, par most Igbo parents I know always want their children to marry Igbo, Igbo parents people. don't allow their children to marry outside a tribe and I don't like this I feel like marriage not, has nothing to do with tribe you can marry from any tribe and you have the best marriage so whenever I see any parent doing this I don't like frown at it i don't like it and the second thing i don't like about Igbo people is that most times when you do business with an Igbo man and you feel like oh this is my brother this is my sister sometimes they try to cheat, cheat you yeah sometimes they try to cheat you and they forget that you are their brother unlike some tribes that i know that whenever they know that they are dealing with their their with someone from their tribe they treat them with preference but for Igbo people it is not the same way like if you like tell them that you're from their kindred if they want they can still hype the price for you like they don't they don't care they don't mind so these are the things i don't like about my Igbo people change so the next question says what is your favorite Igbo slang 
my favorite Igbo slang should be Odiegu, Odiegu, or Nne Eh, Nne Nopa, Nne Eh. So I think I said this too a lot, Odiegu and Nne Eh. So misconceptions about Igbo people, they are much now. But the one that is so popular is that Igbo people like money. Simply because Igbo people are hardworking, they now said that they like money. My brother, my sister, do you not like money as you are watching this video? Do you not like money? Are you Igbo? Is it a must that is only Igbo people that like everyone, every single person? As long as you're working, you're working in the office, you're selling in the market, you're doing anything to make money. You're, you like money. That's why I see everyone likes money. So for you to say that Igbo people like money, that's a mistake. We are just yeah. hardworking. We don't Another misconception is that Igbo people are ritualists. How do you know they are ritualists? Please, ritualists can come from any tribe. Like, it is not restricted to any tribe. Anyone can be a ritualist. It's only in, in, in movies that Igbo people are ritualists. It's only in movies that Igbo people are ritualists. Me, I don't know about Igbo people being ritualists. If there are any ritualists, I don't know. But don't come and be telling me that Igbo people are ritualists. Like, what do you what do you now mean? So, oh, so we don't have ritualists in other tribes, Abby. Please stop saying that. From today, don't even say that again. I'm serious. So the next question says, favorite place in Igbo land? Of course, my hometown, Uguta. My favorite place in Igbo land is my hometown, Uguta. You ask me my favorite place now. I, that's, that's the place I grew up in and I love my place so much. So it's my favorite place in Igbo land. The next question says, favorite Igbo soup? Favorite Igbo soup? I'm not a huh. big fan of most of the Igbo soup. Like, not that I don't eat it, but my favorite soups are not even Igbo soup. But let me just choose in sala soup, yes. In sala soup, I'm found that in sala soup, Hey, it's both in sala soup with azondo and um, found that Yeah, that is what I like. My the next question says, favorite Igbo outfit. Favorite Igbo outfit. My favorite Igbo outfit would have to be lace when you when you use a lace to make a blouse. And then tie wrapper, tie wrapper, not skirt to and wrapper, no, just wrapper, one wrapper, tie it with the blouse, and then you tie Igbo gele, we are a suru, I love it so much, like, that was what I wore for my marriage, and I still love wearing it now, that's my favorite Igbo outfit. So the next question says, the next question says, are you open to marrying from another tribe? I'm open to marry from any tribe as long as I am happy in that marriage. I'm not I'm not into marrying from your tribe. No, no, no. I can marry from Yoruba land. I can marry from Asa land. What matters is that I have a happy marriage. Like, that is what matters to me. Yeah. Favorite Igbo song. Favorite Igbo song is Ijawele by, I think, Flavor and Umobilibu. Okamuna Chemusaga. Eh. Eh, I don't know if I can get the lyrics, but that's my favorite Igbo song. And I also love another of Umo Igbo song. That is um, Egundine. I love that song so, so much. So there are so many songs I love, but let me just say these two are my favorite Igbo songs. The next question says, when was the last time you visited your village? So I visited my village last in 2016. And that was when we went for my dad's burial. Yes, I can remember that one very, very well. 2016. That was the last time I visited my village. The next question says, what's your worst Igbo food? Oh, my worst Igbo food. I don't know where these people learn this one from. Someone eating Ede. Ede and palm oil. Please. I hate, I hate, like, even to use Ede to take in soup is work for me. Then you now come and use Ede and eat, and eat it with oil. Remember? I don't like it. It's my worst Igbo food. The next question says, if you have a chance to be born into another tribe, which tribe will it be? Ah, this one is hard because I don't know if I if there's any other, other tribe that I can choose. But if I were not born in Igbo land, then I would have been born in probably America or Canada, not Nigeria. Shall. So if I'm not Igbo, I'm a Canadian or an American. Yeah. The next question says, if you have a chance. Okay, sorry, I've, I've answered that one. The next question says. How do you feel when someone calls you Ibotik? Hey, when someone calls me Ibotik, Ibotik, would the person now call me Yorubatik or Hausatik? I am Ibotik. So I am Ibotik. Like I cannot, if you call me Ibotik, I feel like you're hailing me. When you call me Ibotik, you're kind of hailing me. So I'm an Ibotik girl. So if, if the person says it with the intention of hurting me, it cannot hurt me because I'm an Ibo girl and I am 
Ibotic. Proudly Ibotic. The next question says, have you ever been mistaken to be from another tribe? Yes. Sometimes people say I look like sometimes people say I look like a Fulani girl. I don't know if it's true. So if you're watching now, do I look like a Fulani girl? I don't know what they even mean like by that. I don't know, I'm not Fulani, I'm Igbo. The the next question, which is the last question, says, say one Igbo proverb. Hmm. The one I will say to I know I know I know a lot of but I've forgotten all of them but I can remember one Gidi Gidi Bugweze Gidi Gidi Bugweze which means unity is strength. Unity is because let me not go and write my tongue but it just means that unity is strength. So Ndiba and you talk or I'm not I've come to the end of this video. I've come to the end of Inho Kiri Inho Kiri Inka I have come to the end of this video because I've come to the end of this video. Did you enjoy watching? Please don't forget to subscribe and like if you've not done that already. So if you're an Igbo person and you're watching this and you've not done this Igbo tag, I'm challenging you to do yours. I'm a proud Igbo girl and this is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.